Tyson 9, 6 says, For unto us a child is born, and to us a son is given. Who is the son? The son is the son of God. And the government will be upon his shoulder. His name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. That's exactly the world needs today. I would like to encourage all of us during this time of Christmas that we will not just look at ourselves. We will not just emphasize our interest, what we need, what we have, what we don't have. Let's forget about us. Let's appreciate Christ. You know, one thing I just would like to bring, what Christmas for me is, the angels during the time of Christmas, during the time of Jesus' birth, angels, they went to different spots. How many spots the angels appeared? The first one was to Mary. And when the angel appeared to Mary, he said, do not be afraid. And then he gave the news. And then next, Joseph. Angel appeared to Joseph. And what was the message given to him? Don't be afraid. And Mary that con conceived, it's not from any man, but it's from the Holy Spirit. And go and take her. And third spot where angels appeared, shepherds. You know, shepherds were stinking. They were rejected. But they were awakened. So angel come, comes, to, comes to them and what angel says? Again, do not be afraid. And then again, another place that during the Christmas event, angel appeared to, to the Magi's. And you know, they were so scared. They, they were confused. And then the angel tells them, take a different route. Now all these places that the angels appeared, that was the direct intervention of God. Not with man, not through man, but with through angel. And the message that angel gave to those four spots are the same messages we need to give it to people today. Mary was confused. Today, the whole world is confused. Joseph also was confused. And today, the whole world also is confused. Everybody is worshipping their own interests. Uh, Joseph, Joseph was thinking that uh, my thinking would be justified. He was thinking that I will just secretly leave her because he didn't want to face that. And number three, the shepherds. Shepherds also were like, they were not accept, they accepted, but they were out. You know, somebody who really even go for night shift means he really need of work. He really need of money. The, angels, the shepherds were really in need. And today the whole world is looking for where to have their bread. The whole world is going into a difficulties now. Let me not scare you, but let me warn you. The days we saw in 2020, the worst days are coming. Worst days are coming. Some people are thinking, whoa, everything is lifted. No, you can't go back again to 2018. Worse days are coming. But the angels appear to a shepherd and say, Do not be afraid. For, for in the city of David, the son of God is born. Let's not be scared of anything. And then, uh, Magi's, what were happening with them? They were so terrified. They were so confused. What to do? They didn't have any direction. Now, next Sunday is New Year. All of us are looking for direction. I want to take a new direction. I want to make a new resolution. Don't make some resolution which you have made last year and didn't, didn't fulfill. Make some resolution that is led by the Holy Spirit. Your 2023 will not be blessed if you don't make the right direction. Your 2023 will be blessed if you make the right direction. Your right direction is not by your own wisdom. The right direction is supposed to be like angel came to them and said, Now you take a different route. If they had taken the same route that they came, they would have messed everything up. Well, many of us, maybe in your business, in your life, in your family, in your personal life, in your prayer life, in your, in your spiritual life, probably you are taking a route that is not right. Sit down in the presence of the Lord and ask the Lord, Lord, I need your direction. Tell all of us we need direction. The fourth place, the Magi's represent the church. church uh, the Magi's were who? They were wise, they were knowledgeable, they were king, and they knew where they were going. Did you get me? Church also is chosen and we are the royal priesthood and we know where we are going. 
but we are confused. Majais were confused, they didn't know which route to take. Most of us need to take the right route. Maybe we are taking the route of our own pleasure, our own ways, what we think was right, but no. Before you enter 2023, if you really want to have a blessed 2023, take some time during this week. Maybe one day, fasting and prayer. Spend some time as, as a family, pray together. God will direct. And then we will have the blessed year. Without prayer, we will not have blessed year. We may have friends, we may have people, we may have things of this world, we will have party, but those people will not be there when you are in trouble. But God, who is Emmanuel, he'll be with you. So let's make a decision this morning that before we enter into New Year, Lord, I want to take the direction. I want to walk in the way that you want me to walk. Can you make that direction? Can you make that decision today? To say that on the Christmas day, may my joy should not be to fill my own, fulfill my own pleasure or satisfy my own anger or supplement to my own ego, but help me to sit down before you and have your direction.